When you hear someone talk about local government, what comes to mind? You might think about taxes, schools, policing, roads, or even something as mundane as trash collection. But do you wonder how these aspects of government are managed? How are tax rates set? Who exactly oversees the police? Who determines the school budget? How can we, as citizens, stay informed and make our voices heard? If you've been looking for answers to these questions, you're in the right place. Welcome to Chattanooga Civics, a podcast discussing local government in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm Nathan Bird. This podcast has been floating around in my mind for some time now. I believe that local government is a vitally important and often overlooked part of our society. In fact, I believe our sense of political value in this country is entirely upside down. You can find out nearly anything you want to know about federal politics with a quick Google search. But to find anything about local politics usually takes some serious digging. So about a year ago, I started looking for resources to help me understand Chattanooga politics. I looked in the paper, of course, but the coverage was thin, and I had to dig through several unrelated articles to find anything really helpful. I looked on the city and county websites for information, but the websites were often poorly designed, and when I finally did find what I was looking for, the information was either densely worded legalese or vague public relations jargon. What I really wanted was a blog or a podcast that could break down what was happening, a central source of information I could consult to answer my questions. Who makes this or that decision? What are the key issues up for discussion? Who's running for office and what is their platform? I thought, it'd be really cool if someone started something like that. And then I more or less forgot about it. Then 2020 happened. Viruses, emergency shutdowns, mask mandates, school closures, protests, election security and more were brought to the forefront. I realized these were things we were all talking about at the national level but the real action was at the local level. I realized that if I was going to have any real say in these issues, I would need to understand how my local government works and how to make my voice heard. I realized it was time to roll up my sleeves and start doing my own homework. And I figured, if I'm going to be doing all this work to understand our local government, why don't I bring the rest of the city along for the ride? So I'm going to make it clear up front, I am not an expert on local government by any means. I am very new to this space. I'm really just a guy with an internet connection who decided to spend a lot of time on Google, but I want to share what I've learned with you. So here's my plan. This marks the beginning of the first season of Chattanooga Civics. In these first few bite-sized episodes, I'm going to break down, in layman's terms, how the city and county governments operate and how citizens can get involved. If this first season is a success, I hope I can shift into doing longer interviews with local council members, school board members, and other officials, organizers, and political candidates. I want this to be an ongoing conversation, staying up to date with current issues and keeping people informed. Unfortunately, at this time, I won't be covering all local politics. I have a lot of friends in Red Bank, East Ridge, Saudi Daisy, and on the mountains, but I just don't have the bandwidth to cover all those municipalities right now. So for the time being, I'll be covering the city of Chattanooga, and I'll also be covering county issues which impact the city. All that being said, I hope this podcast can grow and change to meet the needs of the community. Ask questions, give me feedback, let me know what it is you want to learn more about. I will do my best to work with you, my listeners. Before we go, I suppose I should take a minute to introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Nathan Bird. I wasn't born in Chattanooga, but I was raised here. From the age of six, I grew up in a middle-class home on Signal Mountain. I was homeschooled through eighth grade and blessed enough to receive scholarships to Macaulay High School and Vanderbilt University, where I studied civil engineering. After graduation, I got married to a fellow Chattanoogan, though my wife has much deeper roots here. We stayed in Nashville for a few years, but the Dynamo of Dixie was always going to call us home eventually. We moved back in 2018, and we have no plans to leave anytime soon. We have two kids, so we don't get a lot of free time, but when we do, we love to take advantage of all the rock climbing and hiking the scenic city has to offer. I've spent my early career working in civil site design, spending a lot of time working with zoning codes and land development, 
and over that time, urban design in particular has really become one of my passions. So if you think sections of this podcast centered around urban development end up seeming a little more detailed and energetic than the rest, now you know why. I'm really excited to see where this podcast goes, and I hope it proves useful for you. If you have any particular areas of interest or questions you would like me to research, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at chattanoogacivics at gmail.com, and I'm on Facebook and Twitter at chatcivics. That's chat with two T's. So that wraps up this introduction episode. Our intro and outro music were written and recorded by Kevin McLeod. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.